Good evening, everyone. I'm going to stay behind the camera today because <laughs> it's a hot mess express over here today. My hair is wild. I have a scratch on my face from my toddler. So today it is gonna be you, me, and the perfume tray. I'm really excited about doing February's perfume tray because <gasps> Valentine's Day is this month. So you know I'm gonna play with some fun, sexy, sassy, flirty, girly, feminine perfumes, which are my favorite. And it's also my daughter's birthday this month. So we have some special occasions going on. We're doing a little small birthday party at home and then doing a little weekend away to do some fun activities for her B-Day. So this is my current perfume tray from January. We are about a week into February. I'm running behind. We were out of town visiting family last weekend, which is when I usually film. Everything is the same besides a few things. <laughs> um, I did get a different perfume tray. If you saw last month, the tray was quite small. It was from Target. I ended up returning it and I found this baby and I thought it was just perfect. It was 10 bucks, I couldn't resist. It's much larger. I actually really enjoy this clear bottom with this like wicker design inside. So that is brand new. And then I found this in the Target like $3 bin. I couldn't pass it up. I was like, how fun is that for rotating my fragrances of the month? And then I did add these two to my January rotation because I'm just honestly trying to use them up. It is the Clean Radiant Nectar and the Kayali Love Fest. I actually really love this Clean Radiant Nectar when I go to the gym. It's the perfect gym scent in my opinion. And then this Kayali, Kayali honestly, I'm, I'm starting to really love Kayali. And if you guys saw, there's some rumors out there that they're going to do a pistachio gelato fragrance are you kidding me that is a dream so i really hope that is true but this is love fest and i'm trying to use it up because to me it smells so much like invite only and i have a big bottle of invite only so i'm trying to use this up i plan to leave these two in here to continue to try to use them up what i found from last month a quick rundown this fragrance just is not, it's not for me. I'm not quite sold on getting rid of it yet because it is the big bottle, it wasn't cheap, but I just do not find myself reaching for it. There's just something about it. I received this one in Influencer, which I was so appreciative of. I didn't reach for it a lot, just because in my opinion, this one is a little bit more springy and we are in the midst of winter here. It's been very cold. Besides today, we got a little random warm day. I also did not find myself reaching for this one a lot, but I did enjoy it. I'm still on the fence on if I love Gucci Rush or not. To me, it'll probably be more of a gym scent. I know a lot of people say it's going out for them or like sexy. I don't get that. I get kind of a soapy peachy scent from it. So to me, it's like more gym worthy. But other than that, I was reaching for all the others quite a bit. I will say so far I am loving doing this because I actually am making a dent. I'm seeing progress that I never saw before in my fragrances. Like, you can tell I've used these, how exciting. And then I am getting close. I might leave this one in my rotation because I'm trying to use this one up. It's super old. It is hard to say goodbye though because this was the first fragrance my husband bought for me. I am drinking some tea out of my doggy cup. My daughter loves these cups. She always comes up and go, doggy cup, doggy, mommy coffee, coffee cup. I'm gonna clean this bad boy out, look through my shelf, and let's see what calls me for February. So I am fil filming this way later than normal. Like I'm talking, it's like nine o'clock at night. I've been cleaning all day, kind of prepping for that birthday party I mentioned. So I'm running behind, but I'm really just, excited about this month's rotation but also like nervous <laughs> isn't that silly but i'm like a little nervous what am i gonna pick okay being real that was way too hard and i probably picked way too many but i picked some travel size so i'm justifying okay so my thought process here is i'm thinking romantic i'm thinking sexy i'm thinking playful I'm thinking date night. 
even though being real, it's probably unlikely that my hubby and I will get to really celebrate Valentine's. Our daughter's birthday is so close to Valentine's and I'm working a whole bunch extra around Valentine's, so we're gonna be spread thin. But a girl can dream and I can wear my perfumes every day and pretend every day is a magical romantic adventure, right? Right? And who doesn't love when their hubby thinks they smell good? So like I said, I'm leaving Kayali Love Fest and Clean Reserve Radiant Nectar because I like that for the gym. I grabbed my Scentbird Parfums de Marley, Delaney exclusive because hello, romantic, right? Yes. So I thought that would be perfect. And I think I like the travel size kind of just to the side of this and I like some space, some space for bigger bottles. One that I absolutely love and would definitely buy a full bottle of is the Flower Bomb Nectar. I prefer this Flower Bomb Nectar more than the original. I love this one. This is a sexier version in my opinion. And I just don't find myself reaching for this. This is the only actual Killian I have. This is fun things always happen after sunset. I thought that would be a cute one to reach for with the name. Honestly, I wouldn't wear this on an actual Valentine's date. I don't find this sexy at all. There's something about that lychee note in there that I fell in love with, but I don't love on me. It's a little too tart, but this one I could see myself possibly wearing to the gym, even though that feels so extra considering it's Killian, which is high end. I grabbed My Way Intense because I love the initial bubblegum tuberose blast from this, but I find it turns very animalic on me, like very. It gets this like skanky animalic tone to it as I wear it. So it makes me sad, but I just don't think this works on me. But the last time I wore it, it was a lot warmer out. So I wanna give this a go in the colder months. Maybe this will be one that needs to sit on my cold month shelf and not when it's warm at all. We'll see. I'll keep you updated. Of course, I had to grab my dossier version of Good Girl. Hello. Perfect for date nights. I truly do love this scent and I do find this to be very, very reminiscent of the OG. I've just been wanting to play with this. Juliet has a gun. Lipstick Fever some more. Hello. The bottle. Perfect for this time of year. Also the name perfect for the month of February. I just don't love this. I get so many people online saying it's sexy, it's sexy. To me, it is not sexy at all. To me, it's very much a gym scent. It's very ambrox and heavy. Um, that kind of clean, glossy AU type scent. But I'm gonna give her another go. I think I'll send it over here because I also picked up Juliet has a gun. Mmm, the name cracks me up. I do love the bottle. This is reminiscent of Hypnotic Poison. I actually like that one much more. It's much creamier, it's much bolder, but I'm gonna give this another go. I did receive this in Influencer, which I'm so thankful for. When this arrived and I opened it up and I saw what was inside, I literally jumped up and down. Also, please ignore my nails. I was using those nail stickers and remover, <laughs> removing them exactly how it says not to. I was just peeling them off and it kind of destroyed my nails. So let's, ign let's ignore that. There will be some paint going on there before any date night <laughs> activities, birthday parties happen because this is embarrassing. Black opium, like I said, trying to use that up. And I do think this is perfect for a sexy date night. That coffee note in there just does something to it. That makes it extremely sexy, in my opinion. My Oaksha dupe of sweet act, eh, not dupe of sweet. Wow, this is Ocha, Oaksha, Oak, yeah, Oaksha. Wow, I can't talk. Oaksha sweet addict, which is a dupe of love. Don't be shy. And honestly, in my opinion, it is unre unreal, hard to believe. Close. I have smelled the real deal, and this is very 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 close and it is like the ultimate flirty scent in my opinion so perfect for a date night or celebration my husband loves a vanilla heavy fragrance this is valentino uh valentino 
what is this called? Voce Viva Intensa. This is the more intense version. It is very vanilla. I believe it's bourbon vanilla, so I had to grab this one. If we went on a date night, this would probably be the one I would reach for because I think he would like this the best out of everything I have picked besides maybe one that's coming down the line here. Noir Distill, this is one of my personal favorites. This is a boozy vanilla, I love it, I think it's sexy. This is one that I would reach for if I was trying to feel sexy or impress somebody and it's very affordable, which I love. This is one I've just been thinking about a lot. Oh gosh, you can see my reflection, hello. Okay, let's just, show. Look, look at my hair. I mean, you guys, I, I'm looking rough over here. <laughs> okay, so this is Fancy by Jessica Simpson. It's a very pear-rich, pear-thinked, baked pear dessert with like a brown caramel sauce or the pear has turned like browned and caramelized in the pan this is really beautiful but i haven't worn it in legit forever i would say my daughter was probably about six months old the last time i wore this everyone raves about it it gets great reviews and it is beautiful but i mean i haven't re reached for it in forever and i would like to become more familiar with it this is the other one that i thought my husband would maybe enjoy the most out of all of these and this is vanilla royale sugar patchouli and I think it's sexy, I love it. It's very, very warm, cozy, deep, creamy vanilla. If you're wanting something that is a more intense version of Vanilla 28, this is not it. Yes, the DNA is in there, but this is a whole other ball game here, you guys. Like, it's legit, I love it. But I think a lot of people grabbed it thinking it was gonna be just like Vanilla 28, and it is not. And since I added her, I feel like I have to add something else. Oh my gosh. I'm so extra. I'm gonna move this one over here because since I'm adding vanilla sugared patchouli, vanilla royale, I have Eden, I have invite only, and then I have vanilla royale. Did I have to? Well, no, not really, but yes, I did. I'm adding those because I've really wanted to try playing with them. I got these at Christmas. It was on my Christmas wish list and I haven't opened them yet. There's just something about them. Like these are definitely some of the more expensive perfumes in my collection outside of Navitus. And it's like, they feel so special. I almost have a hard time reaching for them. So you know what, if she's going in, so are her mates there. Like it's happening. Okay, yes, I'm rolling with it. Do you wonder where I'm gonna put the last two? <laughs> These are the other two that I was considering putting in because I haven't really played with the Mimic. This is supposed to be like the Crybaby perfume, which I've never smelled, but I bought into the hype. And then this is, of course, Pink Sugar. I think I'm gonna do Pink Sugar, but then that blocks my sugared patchouli. What to do, what to do. She's so tall. Oh, what if I do this? Boom, and then boom. All right, okay, that's much more balanced now. Like, I don't wanna block my Kayalis. They're my babies. Do I want to add this over here? Ew, look at that. Why is there something floating in there? Doesn't that look weird? I hope that's just perfume oil that's cold. I will say I keep my perfumes pretty chilly down here in the closet they're in. Maybe I will message the brand just to be sure. Well, I think that's more than enough. I definitely overdid it considering I'm like six days into the month and it's a shorter month. So, um, wow. Probably not going to get as many dents this month, but hey, I'm going to enjoy it, okay? Well, you guys, this is my February perfume tray. I'm pretty excited to dive on in. Let me know what you picked for your perfume tray. And now I get to put those bad boys from last month away. All right, guys, as always, please try to stay positive because at the end of the day, that is truly all we can try to do. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.